Roscoe Chavez once said, Dios nos hizo primos porque sabía que nuestras madres no podían menjanos como hermanos. This means God made us cousins because he knew our siblings couldn't handle us as brothers. Um, Israel and I have grown through the years ever since we were little. We really first started to realize that we were each other's favorite cousins right around fifth grade. <laughs> we are both 16 and, and has always been the same age. And I think it's pretty cool because we're, we've always just been the same age range so we can always have things that we like in common. Um, Israel Rosales is my cousin, and because of him, he's impacted my life positively in several ways and has be and made me a better me today. Um, is he likes he's like a role model to me because he cares so much about his family, has my back no matter what, and always knows how to have fun. Izzy cares so much about his family and always puts us before himself. One time I was grounded and he came to my window, I heard bang, bang, bang on my window at 10 o'clock at night and I kind of shot up and I was like, what the heck? And uh, it kind of scared me and then I was, I was just in my underwear and I like opened my blinds and I heard dumb. And I was like, what the heck? And it was Izzy at my window at 10 o'clock at night. He, <laughs> he gave me a phone because I was grounded and didn't have one and I, to me, I think that's pretty cool because he was thinking about me at that time of night. Uh, when I, whenever his mom is sick, he calls into Pizza One and doesn't go into work just to tend to her and make sure she's okay. Out of everyone in his immediate family that could have done it, he's the one that took the sacrifice to come in and just to tend to her. Another example is when the state champ, also known as our cousin Demetrius Castillo, was re he had a wrestling meet at Freeland and uh, he was getting his butt kicked, obviously, and he tore his labrum. Uh, Izzy was the first person to run out to the mat to make sure he was Gucci. Um, <laughs> uh, though Israel has a lot of love for his family, he always puts me before anyone else and has my back no matter what. An example is if, if someone's got beef with me, you better know they got beef with him. Uh, if someone wants to fight me or doesn't like me or mistreats me, he pulls up no matter who it is. This shows the amount of respect Israel has for me. Another example is when we wrestle on with our friends or family, Israel and I are always on the same team. It's always us versus everyone else. A funny story is when we were at my house, my brother and his girlfriend, Maya Stahl, they, they saw, I'm pretty sure they saw like our lights coming from the car, and when we walked in, all the lights were off and we're like, what the heck is going on? Because usually it's, they're like always having fun stuff. And so we were like discussing who's going to walk through the entry door first. And then out of nowhere, bang, Izzy gets smashed with a hornet. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know who that is, what that is, it's a uh, like paper thing that's rolled up and it's designed to like shoot hard from a rubber band and it hurts when it hits you. So then we decided, hey, let's settle the score. So me and Israel go in my room, we load up all the airsoft guns, and lit. before you know it, there's a big war going on. Um, <laughs> see. And then, and you probably figured me and Israel were on the same team, and we always win, and we did win that time. And the last example is if, if someone mistreat, mistreats me, he's always there sticking up for me. He does not care who it is or what he says, he'll stick up to me and say whatever he needs to. Although there's serious moments between us, he also knows how to have fun. No matter where we are, if there's a speaker, you better know Big Iz and I are gonna be bumping and dancing. My favorite memory is when we were at his house and I pull up into his driveway and we're just he's just had Lil Yachty blaring. And uh, we were singing and dancing for random cars and strangers that were passing by and everyone was kind of just like looking at us like what the heck are they doing but it was fun and to me it's just always good knowing that we can actually like be ourselves and not hide who we are around each other it just gives us like a good feeling to me um he actually always has like crazy ideas for things to do too for instance when we had a big party to congratulate Michi on winning the state championship he had a great idea that me and him can go and sneak attack Michi and try and wrestle him. 
but it kind of backfired on us because before we knew it, there was 10 little Mexicans running around jumping on our back and taking us to the floor. Uh, it was crazy, but it was also so much fun. The last reason is he's always talking about plans for our future. We always say that if we were to live with anyone other than ourselves, or other than our girlfriends, it would be me and him living together. We always talk about how we're going to split the cost of an apartment and throw bangers every night. Israel Rosales is important to me because he's impacted my life positively in several ways. From showing me how to love and care for his family, to calling him to work to care for his mom, and to having my back no matter what, and showing me how to have fun, Israel is a one-of-a-kind cousin. We are crazy similar to each other, and surprisingly, we haven't been mistaken for each other yet. He shows, how me, he shows me how to live life right and always be happy. Israel Rosales is a perfect role model to me, and I would not want to call anyone else my cousin. So to you, Israel Rosales, thank you.